Hey, it's your girl Victoria, aka Vivacious V, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to do a wig review for you. Um, I know that I said, well, this is this is a long time coming. It's taken a while, but I said before that I was going to probably get one or two wigs to wear while I'm in South Korea. Now, I'm not. I'm really not a big wig person. Um, this is kind of like my first successful wig. I tried making wigs to begin with instead, like instead of buying them because I was like. Well, I can make one much cheaper, but I don't really like them. They, I gotta redo. At least one I have to redo, because maybe I can save it. But uh, but other than that, eh, maybe for Halloween I'll keep them. But this one, actually, I really like. Um, I wore it all this week and did what I call the test run, which is like, you wear it for a week, you see how what kind of feedback you get. Um, people were giving me lots of compliments. <laughs> it was great. I, I really enjoyed it. Getting people say, oh, you look so pretty. Oh, your wig looks so pretty. Oh, you look so cute. I love it. Shout out to you all. Thank you. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so this is just kind of a, kind of just a, well, a video review slash kind of tell you what this wig is. Um, I will link the link if I can't, well, the link uh, and maybe or the something yeah, the information to the wig, I'll, I'll link below. Um, it retails for, I think, $34. And I got it on AliExpress. Not Amazon! Haha, -ha, I went to another one. I got it on AliExpress for, I think, $34. It took about two weeks to come in. Um, but I wasn't in a hurry, so I, I really... It could have taken longer, and I, I wouldn't have cared. Um, but, yeah. My cat is rolling around in the, sun, the sunny spot on my carpet. And she's like on her back and she's cute. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go and I'm going to put this wig on uh, so that I can show you what it looks like. Now, this wig is black and my hair is brown. So you're not, you can't really sh uh, see the difference unless I go, look at my roots. But it's, yeah, it's a different color. But to me, it works. It looks fine. Um, it's about the, it's the same length as my natural hair, which is about right here. And it curls. It's like the kind of spiral curl, I guess the curl former curl, if you want to call it that, because I used the, uh, when I did the, the tutorial on my curl formers, this is like the same curl, but what it would actually look like if my hair was long enough to do that, um, and look nice. Yeah, this is a nice wig. It also had a lace front. Um, I asked my, my roommate to help me cut my lace because I've never cut lace before, and she has a couple lace wigs that she loves, so she'll, she cut the lace for me, which made it, uh, she cut it to basically to fit me, and then um, I put it on, and I wore it all week, and it was great. And I, I also took out the clips. There's normally a uh, set of clips on the inside of the wig. I did not like the clips because the clips rip out my hair, so I took the clips out, and it works just fine. Um, I may get an elastic band to put around the back of the wig because the elastic with the hooks on it is kind of stretching out, which I don't really like, but then again, it's a $34 wig, so I didn't expect the elastic to be like, you know... The, the elastic of elastics, like I can, I can go get another string of elastic and like put it in there, really easy. It's not hard, but um, yeah, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna stop wasting time and I'm gonna go put this on, and I will be right back. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> okay, so this is the wig. Uh, I think it's very nice. Like I said, it's about the length of my natural hair. So if I had my natural hair out. It comes down to about here. Um, usually, I curl my nat like let my natural hair curl or curl it so that it kind of comes to here. But this, if my natural hair hung, had the weight to hang, would be here. Um, which is one of the reasons why I like this wig so much because it, it looks pretty natural for me. Um, <clears throat> I also would just part it like this, which is um, where's the part? It's a slight L part that goes like that on the left side of my face. Um, I really like it. Like I said, you can't really see where my roots are unless I lean forward and go, hey, look, there are my roots. But it is a lace front, which is funny because I don't wear my lace all the way to the front. Like, if I was wearing it all the way to the front, it would look like this, which also isn't bad, but I'm not too fond of, like, the hair all the way down. I like to show my roots a little bit, like so, so that it looks more natural because I have a widow's peak ever so slightly, but it is there, so it's funny because when I put the wig down, it doesn't have a widow's peak, and I can just tell it's fake, and everybody can be like, uh, she wears a wig, 
but <clears throat> if I pull my hair back just a little bit so that I have about a quarter of an inch of hair, natural hair showing, um, it just looks like my natural hair. And then if I kind of move it back and forth a little bit, it pushes my hair up a little bit so it just looks like roots and not like it's a ponytail underneath a wig. Um, but yeah, I like this hair. Look at it. It's cute. It's bouncy. It flips to the side. Um, I'm going to, well, I'm going to try to do a 360 for you so you can, you can see, but I'll turn this way, if you can see that, and then I'll go to this side. Yeah, that's, <laughs> but I mean, I don't know if that was in frame or not, but that's my, <clears throat> that's my wig basically. Um, like I said, it is a, it's synthetic. First of all, so it's, this is not real hair, which is one of the things I like about it a lot because it's very, very soft and it almost feels like real hair. I, um, my friends actually, two of my friends were so confused. <laughs> they said, um, why did you change, like, when did you dye your hair? I said, oh, I didn't, this is a wig. They, they, <laughs> it was, it was fun to see. Um, they were like, so... Is it real hair? I don't know. It's synthetic hair, so yeah. Um, it's fake. It's like Barbie doll hair, but that's what I like. I don't like wearing other people's hair. I think that's weird. Um, <laughs> I mean, like, it's it just it just that just freaks me out a little bit. Like, I'm not gonna chop off somebody's hair and be like, mm, there we go. It'd be looking good. Yeah, no. Um, like I said, it does have two clips in the in the back. Um, the, la the wig goes down to the nape of my neck, which is nice because it stops like right where my, what my, my roommate calls the kitchen, which is like the back of your hair, like the kind of on your neck. It stops right at like where my skull meets my neck. So it's perfect because if I lift my hair up a little bit, you can't tell. Like if I lift my hair up, it just looks like the, my hair. It looks like my hair coming out of my head. And unless I really lift it, then you can see the wig tracks. But other than that, no. Um, this wig is really nice. It's got no spacing, like no... I mean, it's nice spacing. It doesn't have, like, there's no track showing or anything like that. Um, the other thing I like about it is it's a really light wig. The uh, tracks are spaced out enough that my hair is going to get some air because that's one of the things I was really worried about going in with a wig, especially into any countries that are hot, which apparently Korea is hot, and also I'm going to Malaysia, which is tropical, so I may or may not wear this there too. Um, but I also worry about the summertime because my... Head. I have a sensitive scalp, and moisture on my scalp is, like, a good thing, but then I also get, like, itchy scalp if it's too moist, so this is good because the tracks are spaced out enough that my head is going to breathe. I have a really light uh, um, wig cap that looks like stockings, you know, like um, fishnet stockings, like the ones with holes in them. So, yep, that's pretty much it. That's all i got to say. I always get super, super excited when I have, like, bouncy hair because my hair, usually, like, I could go, I could whip my hair back and forth and it will not do a darn thing. But when I wear a wig or if I have uh, extensions or something like that and I go like this, my hair moves. Or if I get it blow-dried and it's, like, straight as an ironing board and curls in at the bottom, it moves. But, I mean, it's such a rare occurrence. I just get super excited when, yeah, when, <laughs> when it's not doing anything. So, that's my wig. Mm, yes. So, uh, yeah, as I'm packing, I'll show you, like, what my wig looks like, uh, without, without being on my head. Um, but I'm wearing it now, so I'm not just gonna whip my hair off, because you don't need to, you don't need to see my wig cap. No. No. Not today. I was tempted, but no. No, we don't know each other that well, you're not seeing my wig cap. You won't see my natural hair, or my wig, or my extensions. That's, that's all you get. But, um, alright, that's pretty much it for now. Uh, yeah, stay tuned for my next video. I wish you all well. Happy spring break, everybody who's on spring break, all my friends. Uh, <laughs> if you're not on spring break, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but, but, happy, happy spring break, because I'm on spring break, I'm so happy. I have the whole kitchen to myself, because my parents are away, so, yes. Alright, I will see you all on the down low. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And this is Bobby HSV signing off. See ya!
If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter if you want to stay up to date. See you next time.